Hey guys, what's up? Something's been weighing on my mind a little bit here lately. Might have made a post on Instagram or LinkedIn about it, I don't know. But I wanted to make sure to get a video and a short little article out to you. And what I'm going to say might blow your mind, might make some of you go a little bit crazy, but here goes. Stop chasing happiness. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Sounds kind of crazy. Because isn't that what most people are after? Isn't that what most people tell you to do? Live your best life. You do you. Do what makes you happy. Find happiness however you can. Well, see, the problem is happiness comes and goes. Happiness is fleeting. Happiness is based on what's happening. Let me say that again. Happiness is based on what's happening. Do you understand that? Happiness is based on external circumstances. It's based on things that are going on in the world, things that other people are doing to you, things in which you probably have no control over whatsoever, right? You see, happiness is an emotional response to those external circumstances. Happiness is an emotional response to what's going on. How often... Do your emotions change? All the time, right? Emotions come and go. Emotions are easily manipulated. So if you think about it, happiness is always elusive. You're never going to be able to get a hold of and hold on to happiness. It's going to last forever. It's not going to happen because you can't control external circumstances. Your emotions come and go and they're easily manipulated. You can't chase happiness and stay fulfilled. You can't chase happiness and maintain that feeling all the time. It's not going to happen. That's why so many people are so disappointed after chasing the things they think are going to make them happy. So if we're not searching for happiness, what are we searching for? What should we be after? What is it we should chase? Well, here's the secret. You don't have to chase it. What you need is joy. Joy comes from within. You don't have to chase after it. It's already there. Joy comes from the love of God. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit. See what I'm saying? I don't have to look outside. I don't have to look to these people who are going to let me down. I don't have to look to these circumstances which may not go the way that I want. All I have to do is look to the love of God and now I have joy. Joy that's everlasting. Joy that's never going to leave me. Your joy is rooted in the love of God. When speaking about God's love for us and his own love for us, Jesus said that we would have his joy and that our joy would be full. Now, the other thing joy is tied to is gratitude. The depth of your gratitude is in direct proportion to the heights of your joy. Let me say that again. The depth of your gratitude is in direct proportion to the heights of your joy. It's about being grateful for God's love for you. It's knowing that God loved you so much he sent his own son to die for you. It's Knowing that Jesus loved you so much, he was obedient to the cross to cover your sins with his own blood, to spend three days in hell for you so you didn't have to. It's knowing that all of God's promises in Jesus are yes and amen. It's maintaining gratitude for God's great love for you. When you keep that in mind, when you keep focused on his love, when you stay grateful, for what he's done for you, doesn't matter what's going on in the world. See what I'm saying? That's why happiness is always fleeting. Joy is eternal. Stop chasing happiness. Funny thing is, like I said, you don't have to chase joy, but if you do, it'll overwhelm you. 
So keep that in mind. And until next time, practice the love of God.